Who can fix Kaiser Chiefs? I think this is a million dollar question considering the situation that we find ourselves in in this country where people are beating other people, throwing stones and you know what I'm saying because they want the team to start winning things now, 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 now which is one of the greatest mistake I've ever seen people are so obsessed about instant gratification they want things to change now and that's never gonna happen but then it also necessitates the question who can fix Kaiser chips we need to unpack all of this provided that you're interested if you are then please stick around as you stick around there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys and that favor is that you subscribe like the video and you comment in the comment section below why do you need to do all of those things you need to do it because doing it it does help out a lot when it comes to the youtube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible so definitely good people the power here is in your hands please exercise that power in favor of this video speaking about all of that good people uh coach I was scared and it's scared of a fair to booty. Do we hire a new coach? Do we do what? What do we do? Let's take a listen to or let me go through what ooh, Dylan, Dylan Shepard once said before I continue with this video. Okay, you put the work, of course, you want to show in performances. They fans come out in their numbers and they are not happy with what they saw, says Dylan Shepard. Okay, it's only now listen carefully again. According to Dylan Shepard, um, remember the question is. Who can fix this uh, Kaiser Chips problem? Who can fix this problem? That's the question. Dylan Shepard has got an answer. This is what Dylan Shepard said. It is only us that can make it club situation right. We have to be positive in, in times like this. Um, it is easy to look at the negative, but we have to draw energy from the positive. And like I said, we still have fourth place to play for. So we have to look forward for that. We've got our last game now. And it is at home in front of our fans. We need to show that we really want to get the fourth place. So, yes. On the Saturday of... Uh, or the Saturday on the 12th of, of, the, uh, 12th of May 2023, Chiefs will be welcoming E. A Capron City, a very difficult game for a team of Kaiser Chiefs caliber. But we need to go back to this point. Who can fix Kaiser Chiefs problems? Is it Zwane? Dillion Shepard? The problem, the local. I think this is where we need to begin. The point of departure is this. What's the problem that is at Kaiser Chiefs? Do they have a coaching problem only? Or they have management crisis? which affects the whole ship from where i'm seated it's not just a matter of the coaching it's the matter of management if you can get it right from the management side then you will get right you'll get it right from the coaching perspective i need to show you something you must look as we must go as far as 10 years ago because i don't want you to be deceived into thinking that it's been seven years card achieves since they've won a trophy. Uh, declining or deterioration did not start on the seven look on the first year within the seven years, right? But it started way before then. But the fruit, you know, were shown on the first year in this within the period of the seven years, right? I think it's a simple mathematics. You plant this year. Uh, your maize mill and then you will only gonna start ripping the fruit next year so I, I think you get where i'm coming from with that being said let's move to the second level to this point here so you must look when you calculate this and when you want to see the problem you must look from this year go as far as 10 years ago and look at the type of players that kaza chips bought during this period it will tell you that you lost the likes of Abuel Zolonian, who were key in the middle field. Did you replace them? No. So, that's where the problem started. So, was it a coach's problem? No, it is the management's fault. Two, <laughs> you must look at the coaches that have been hired. They they, they got Ustif Kompel, who was trying, by, was trying by all means to play beautiful football. 
but was very strong in defending. Did they buy him players? No, they didn't. But he was expected to win and succeed, which is not possible. And then you had uh, a situation of, okay, the second situation, you hired who? I forgot who followed who Stuart Baxter. I think it is Solinas, if I'm not mistaken. That coach did not last even a season. He was fired. And then you had what? Who was it? Um, uh, Ernst Middendorp, who almost won you the league. And then he got fired. After Ernst Middendorp, was it Middendorp? No, no, no. no. Uh, yes, it was Middendorp. And then you had Gavin Hunt. And then you have Stuart Baxter. If you look at these coaches, Gavin Hunt, look, Stuart Baxter, Gavin Hunt, and Smith and Dob, they came and played similar football. Was it uh, a coaching error? No. You knew when hiring those coaches as a management, you knew exactly that these coaches, they are playing this type of football. And you knew that it is not the football, the Kazakhstan football here. You knew exactly. But what did you do? You went on and fired hiring those coaches. Those coaches will, will want players that accommodate their systems. That's why you, you, you saw, oh, look, um, uh, there was Pinedop who signed Unokovic. Nokovic that cannot play the, the, the ball on the ground. But it was very good in his head. Because that's the type of football that, oh, uh, look, um, Pinedop likes to play, likes playing, right? So, what I'm trying to say is, most of most of the problems that we are seeing, it's not a coaching problem. It is the management problem. There is a lack of quality of management at cultures that needs to be rectified. You are the one that needs to decide that we're going to hire a coach, a coach who's suitable for our our culture, our philosophy, and our system. You are the one then. Who will then buy players for the coach? Players that are suitable for your, the, the culture, for the philosophy, and for the system your guys achieve. For So, whatever happened as a result of you not getting a good coach and not buying players, the first people to account for that is the management. Because the coach did not come up with his own check and then sign those players. You also purchased, you also signed a check to sign those players. Because of that, you participated. You saw that this player is not compatible for Karajib's culture. But because you were fixated upon the instant result, what did you do? You bought those players. So when those players fail to perform, like the likes of Abo Cole Alexandra, they are not performing at Karajib's, who do you blame? Do you blame the player or you blame the coach or you blame the management? No. Cole Alexander was well, well was signed by Stuart Baxter, <laughs> right? But Stuart Baxter was signed by Kaiser Chiefs management. Kaiser Chiefs management knew that uh, look, this is the type of football that we need to expect from Stuart Baxter. So look at this. Cole Alexander was signed by Stuart Baxter. Stuart Baxter was signed by the management. So the problem did not start here in the middle, but it started here with the management by signing the one in the middle, and the one in the middle went on to sign this one who the third one who is called alexandra who when you look at the when you look deep you're like this player is not compatible for culture 16. but because fans don't look at facts like this they want to just fire the coach that's why you've been pushing look, for coaches to be fired and they've been firing coaches but you're still standing on the same place because the problem here is not the coaches but the problem is the management if they hire a coach, sometimes they don't even give him quality players. But yet you are there, protesting, chasing the coaches. You will chase them. I'm telling you, you're going to change coaches after coaches after coaches. Unless you address the real problem. There's no change. You will go, you will see yourself on year number 14 without a trophy because you are not dealing with the cause of the problem, but you are dealing with the outcome of the problem. Do you get a point? You are dealing with the results of the problem, not the actual problem. The actual problem here is the management. How do they sign players? Who do they sign? How do they get a coach? 
who do they sign as their head coach? Is that coach compatible for Kansas Chiefs system? Is that coach compatible for Kansas Chiefs culture? Is that coach compatible for Kansas Chiefs philosophy? Those are the questions that you need to ask. If they sign a coach uh, that is compatible for all of those things, then that coach will bring players that are compatible to the Kansas Chiefs system. And then you have the problem rectified. But until then, till you start approaching things from that perspective are you gonna keep firing them you're gonna keep saying zwane this after zwane you will hire pizza and if pizza is not delivering you're gonna do the same thing that you did with zwane unless the management act properly as they should customs will remain where they are